Hi everyone, it's Miss Frodo. And Domo. And we are here, Awen's here too. You may hear her clicking across the floor. We have the uh, Santa's Workshop Lego Creator set. Yeah, this is the one I think was released last year. Um, it's crazy it is, we just never got around to actually uh, pulling it out and putting it together. Yeah, we bought it in the summer or something. and But it's got the reindeer and Santa's Workshop and Santa and Mrs. Claus. It is rated ages 12 and up. It's an expert build. It's got some smaller pieces and more difficult techniques. For expert people like me. Yes. I like the little elf in the corner. I think what I'm looking forward to the most is I love the, this idea of the little... The light strand. The lights, yes. And it does open up, it looks like. Um, I think it, overall this is going to be fun. We'll make a little diorama of it, I think, in the house, which yes. should be kind of cool. So, well, I've got... And Awen wants to go outside. I know, baby. You hold on. So this is an overview of inside. Yeah. So it looks like... Get a little closer here. Looks like we got Santa reading some letters with some nice hot cocoa. And then we have Mrs. Claus, I think, starting up a fire, I'm going to guess. Uh -oh. um, the elves, and they have this cool mechanized looking toy machine. I can't wait to put that together. It looks pretty sweet. And some gift wrapping. And then this kind of gives you kind of a picture of what the outside looks like with Santa Claus flying off into the night to go deliver the presents to the good boys and girls. And I guess Mrs. Claus is like giving cookies to reindeer. I don't know if that's healthy for them. I'm but... sure they're special reindeer cookies. Oh, I'm sure they are. Yes, indeed. And Santa's reindeer eat different food anyway. I thought you were supposed to give them carrots. That's what we always do. Well, I'm sure she has special reindeer cookies <laughs> made out of reindeer food that is safe for reindeer. All right, so let's crack this baby open. Oh, maybe. We need we need scissors. Scissors. All right, one sec. I got, I got something that'll work. Okay, so we got it opened up. Maybe the reindeer are just sniffing the cookies to tell her if they're any good. Uh, so yeah. they, they check for Santa to make sure they're good cookies. If they're anything like goats, they'll eat anything you put in front of their nose. So. Okay, so these are numbered. But most of them are numbered. It looks like there's one and two, so they're all numbered one or two. There's a three. Oh, okay. Ah! Oh my goodness, there's little... There's little, like, coffee stirs. Mm. Um, those aren't going to get lost or broken at all. Yeah, I've got to hear so this I is I guess that's why fun. it makes it... Oh, I think it's for the, the reindeer... Oh, for the, the, the sleigh. The harness yeah. for the sleigh. Yeah, so that's is that, fun. Is it only three? You think there would be four, right? You would think so. Unless this is, like, an extra one because they knew that we were going to lose this. So what we're talking about are these little guys here. They're, they're slightly more robust coffee stirrers. Yeah, I think it's an extra one because if you look at the reindeer on the box, that looks like one continuous thing. There's two of them in there, so there's just an extra one for when you inevitably lose it. So how many bags we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine bags plus the instruction booklet, it looks like. And yeah. some stickers. and. It's kind of nice that they gave us so many little bags so that you can separate the pieces all out. I think what I like the most, and it sounds kind of a dumb thing, but... I like that they actually put a, a cardboard backing on this one because most of the time when you get your your um, instruction book, it's all kind of like mangled up and kind of rolled up into a corner so they don't sit flat. So it's kind of a nice idea. I like that. And you can build on that cardboard. That's very true too. <laughs> all right. Or anyone can have it as a chew toy. So we're going to work on putting this together as we do our Christmassy things and we will come back when it's all put together. All right. Okay, here is the completed Santa's toy shop village thing. Yeah, Santa's workshop. Santa's workshop, thank yeah. you. So first we have the sleigh, and it only has four reindeer instead of the usual eight, but you get the idea. They're so cute. <laughs> they're so cute. And they do come with extra pegs so that if they're not harnessed in, um, they won't have a whole sort of like what Lego does with their horses. They give you extra pieces so that they can just be normal yeah. horses. And there's these are what the two long pipe things were that look like coffee stirrers. They go right there. And they've got little little reindeer tails. There's no Rudolph. Rudolph is not included in this. You know set. what? I bet. One sec. <laughs> yep. You keep on going. I'm gonna see if I can fix this. <laughs> and so for the sleigh. 
It's very ornate. And Santa's got a little sack of toys. And he's got all these little presents in the back. Um, he's got like a little fairy wand. And there's a guitar on the other side. I'll show you the guitar. And then just some different packages with bows and things like that. I like the lanterns on the back. It's kind of a nice, cool, old yeah. school touch to it. It's very cool. I'll show you a close-up of Santa. Come here, Santa. So, he's got his little outfit and his little beard. Does he have any different facial expressions? Nope. No, it's just, just Santa. Oh, he's got white eyebrows. Yeah. You can't really see that when he's wearing his hat. They're kind of covered up most of the way. But there's Santa. And, all right, so Domo has gotten us Rudolph. There's a little smaller reindeer, so you can tell these are the adult reindeer, and this is a baby reindeer. And when Rudolph was Rudolph, he actually was a baby, I guess. Well, at least from like the, was, cart, the, like the stop motion animation. Yeah, he such. was he was a juvenile, so he gave him a little red nose. <laughs> you do have an extra piece to pull this off. It, it, it normally had a brown nose, but it's like, yeah, that, that guy should be Rudolph. So, so Rudolph can uh, <laughs> can guide them through the foggy Lego night. All right, so they'll prance out of the way here a little bit, and we'll give you a better shot at the thing. First of all, we have this North Pole sign. It's got a little wreath. I like the little star pieces. It almost feels like that's something you'd get from, like, um, one of the Friends sets, to be honest. Yeah, it does. And on the back, it's the, you know, red and white striped, like... That's what the North Pole is is usually portrayed as is literally just a red and white pole sticking out of the ground right um and then we have a christmas tree over here and it's got that star again with like a yellow piece so it's glowing more and then the little clear pieces as ornaments yeah and it's, it's pretty much put together like every other lego tree we've ever done before but <laughs> it has a nice uh, texture to it. it looks nice when i was little we had Lego trees that were just like trees and bushes. I don't know how to describe it. I'll have to show you some on my channel sometime. Um, but anyway, here is the completed workshop. It's built in two sections. So one one build is Santa and the sleigh. The next build is half of it. Yep, the house. And then the other build is the this, workshop. The workshop. Yep. So. So why don't we? I'll pull it apart. We'll just do each part separately. Okay. Move that out of the way. And let's pray. Yay! Ah, always <laughs> nice. All right. Okay, and I will right, focus. Okay, so a couple cool things here. You've got, well, these two little pillars going up the steps, the little bricks, the candy canes outside. Oh, there's a key in here? It's a key, yep. Oh my gosh, that's too cool. Does it actually work? No, but it's a key. But there's a key. But it works really good as a handle to kind of open and close that thing. Yes. I'm trying to get it back in. Uh oh. I got you. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, it is dirty. Okay. <laughs> so, very solid door. I'm going to tilt it up a little bit so you can see it's got like the wood slats on it. And the clock. Yep. Nice clock. All these little windows, if you press them just right, they do open. So if you want to get in that nice North Pole winter air, fresh <laughs> air, you know, upstairs or such. You can. Maybe they open them in the summer when they're Possibly. busy making the toys. Because they have to make the toys for the rest of the year. Everything's kind of snow capped, which I like. The little, yes. little icicles or snow coming down. Nice the decal on the Santa's workshop. I love that they nice. need to label it. Like. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know what this was otherwise. There's, ob there's obviously other businesses at the North Pole, so Santa needs to differentiate that this is his workshop. <laughs> That's where the Kwanzaa bot is, you know. <laughs> Is that a Futurama joke? Yes, it is. Continue. And there's a little light down there, too. Um, and then we turn Root. to the inside. We got this big old chair. Oh, oh shoot. I thought it rotated. It no, does, kind of. It kind of rotates. So Santa can sit there, and there's like a torch. That's old school. He's got a nice candlelight. You see all the uh, letters from the good boys and girls. Well, boys and girls. I'm sure he just goes <laughs> over each one got a mug in the back if you had a small piece you can like put it in make it look like there's hot cocoa in there if you wanted to and looks like he 
maybe this was part of an old sleigh, because as you can see, this is the same sleigh sledge <laughs> part here. Santa just needs really fancy seating. And then you have a nice... Apparently Santa's in really good shape for his age, because he's using, <laughs> uh, using a nice uh, ladder to get up and down. And then you have Mrs. Claus. She kind of looks like uh, like if when Red, uh, oh, Little Red Riding Hood gets older with the cape. <laughs> so she has a little cape. She just bakes some fresh cookies. She's, if you look really close, she has a little pouch and has some uh, extra candy canes just in case. And I think this one does have a, another, I think it's a, a, a disappointed face. Let me check. What I think is interesting is that Lego has ladders, but they decided to use two, like, um, fencing pieces stuck together. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Reuse different things. Inside. So it's upside down, but the welcome mat says, welcome, ho, ho, home. Because it's, it's geared so that, like, when you walk in the house, you'd see it. Um, and then over here we have the Mr. and Mrs. Claus from their vacation to Fiji. If you look at the top of Santa's hat, you yeah. see a little Fiji. And then there's a little, it's really hard to see, but there's a palm tree on the right-hand side as well. And then the fireplace with the lighting's really horrible, but okay, there we go. There's, like, a log in the fire. Yeah. Yay. And uh, there is a <laughs> disappointed face, it looks like. Um, that must be for when Santa gets someone on the naughty list. <laughs> Possibly. I am disappointed. Or when he comes home late or something like that, you know. <laughs> I like She has like that little, we got the little beauty mark thing, the little mole on the oh, lower yeah. left. <laughs> Do you think she makes good cookies? I imagine she must make the best cookies. I think she makes the best cookies in the world. She'd have to. I mean, he eats cookies all day. They gotta be good if he wants to eat them. Maybe that's why everyone gives him cookies. Maybe she doesn't make cookies. It's so very bad well. that. Uh... So everyone on Christmas has to give him cookies to make up for it. No, I'm sure she's a great cook. This side too. Um, this is this is the hookup area. Those uh, little hinges there, and they hook up to the workshop, which we'll pull up front here. And these lights are so cool. I love that Lego string lights. Greatest thing ever. <laughs> All right. And there's a, oh. a smaller door. There's an elf-sized door with a key. Well, it's the same size, isn't it? Yes, yeah, same size. Oh, door. never mind. It just looks like it's smaller. It looks smaller because the building's smaller. Get the guys close up. Pre preferably not break anything that's inside of this. Yay. Same door, but instead of having that golden part oh, here, yeah. it's just it's filled in with a, a wooden thing. And then you have these windows. They have a nice kind of like the clear plastic side, so... It's a nice touch. I love the coloring, and then the yeah, had that accent with the you know the we've got the little arches. It's like a church. Yeah, looks great. Well, Santa Santa's Christian, I guess. I suppose depends. <laughs> and then here are the lights close up. It's just a really great idea. They're just it's a little string, a little black uh, toggles or cylinders on it, and you just hook them on and. I would totally decorate like a small, real sized tree in Lego lights if it I could. It would be sweet. And on this side, I guess they have like a little herb garden. I don't know how well that does in North Pole, but she's growing something. It's the magic of the the workshop that allows something green to grow outside. <laughs> and then you have again, uh, this is interesting because I always assume these are like telephones normally or like the, the head like. Yeah. And so what they did, they turned it into a double lantern, which I think is kind of a nice, you know, reuse of an old part. And more snow everywhere. If you are younger than us, you may not understand why that is a telephone, but it is. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is a possibility now, isn't it? Chase, we're getting yeah. old. All right, so let's go to the other side of the workshop and look inside. So we see our first elf here, working hard away at his little stand here. I don't know what these things beside him are. Uh, you know, obviously, a little candlelight. Not sure what this is. Maybe Jars. It's, maybe it's paint. Maybe he's like he's gonna paint something. Paint, or I thought he was making gack or something like little. <laughs> I like that. So he's got his little tools here. Um, he's just tall enough to reach. Reminds me very much of Miss Frodo. Thank you. And he does have the little short size legs that the kids and hobbits and dwarves have. The Frodo, Miss Frodo legs. Yes. yes. Look at his cute little. And yeah, does he have a? Go ahead and pull off his hat. So the ears are attached to the hat. Yeah. And you, this is the one without the, okay. this is just the regular, there's, good old-fashioned Lego head. There's one elf with a double face. And then it's a little stool, it looks like in the background, perhaps, if they get tired or on break. And here's the other side of the key. I guess we can show that. 
So the terror answer does fit through. It's just a little tiny golden key. Santa has high security, even though the only other residents of the North Pole are polar bears. Well, you would want security when the only other residents are polar bears, I guess. Oh, that and the abominable snowman, and... I don't think he bothers with doors. Then here, another little sticker, Santa needs you. You have a little checklist of what they're doing. What I like about this set is it's very open, so you can really play around with it and move things inside and, you know, pose your figures and everything. Sometimes these, like, really expert sets, they're beautiful, they're really immaculate, but you can't move anything inside of them. I mean, I don't, as a future dentist, I guess, uh, <laughs> I don't consider myself having, like, huge fingers, but, like, even my eye when I'm, like, working the apartment set or the yeah. uh, private eye set or all those, like, really big sets, you just, you had to get, like, almost, like, tweezers to move things where you wanted to go Which is funny and play with it. This is playable. Those sets are designed for adults who have bigger hands, so they make right. it harder for our hands to get in. This ages 12 and up, but if you built it, you know, a six-year-old could... This would be a great set, the really, to play with with a kid. I, it's a lot of fun, and it's very, it's, like I said, it's a really playable set. Definitely worth finding if you can, or grabbing if you can find it. They would it's just one of the need, best ones I've seen in a while. They would just need an older kids or an adult's help putting it together for some of the more difficult things. Or if you're just an adult who's like a kid, then you can just get it for yourself like we did. Yay! <laughs> so there's one last part that we haven't shown yet. These guys are working away in the back. Boop. Okay. And so let me, uh, we're just going to... Oh, he's so happy. So there's the buddy elf. <laughs> but I think I think this one also has the other... Oh, yeah, yeah. He's also super sad. And it's like, why would you be sad? You work at the North Pole. I think they're always supposed to be happy. Well, maybe like the... What do you call This thing goes on the fritz. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Next elf has got these cool overalls. Come on. There we go. And he's got a little pencil or a pen in his little pocket. Yeah. So you yeah, measure and stuff. He just has the one face. Oh, and he's got a little bow tie. And he's got freckles. He's like, he's probably the youngest elf. Yes, right. He's just learning the trade. And elves are like thousands of years old, I think. So he's probably only, you know, a hundred and something. Oh, just a youngin. Just a, just a wee baby elf. <laughs> and they're making, what, is that a plane and then a truck? Yeah, if you, well, I'll just knock people over. That's all right. <laughs> it's their time for a break. They're taking a All right, uh, take it a nap. nap. Uh, yep, so it looks like it's like a little fighter jet sort of thing. And then you have like a little race car, which I think I saw in the the Toy Store 3 in 1 set had a, a, a did the exact same um, model or make to make it look like a race car. You have a really cool like a little it's just like a little conveyor belt. Little lights, little spindly doodad gizmos. So you have the poor guy inside painting things manually by hand, but then these elves get this fancy machine to just crank out the toys. Well, it's because they got the, the young the young guy. Where is he? This guy here, he came up with it. That's right, it was. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got another sticker here. Well, no, this one's not a sticker. This is actually the way it came. Um, just little, like, dials and such. Turn your lights on. Then you have little levers and a little wheel. And what I like, turbocharged. <laughs> Huge exhaust pipe. That's awesome. Santa has entered the 21st century. <laughs> so, most likely, uh, this is going to be done outside. Uh, so, the other guy gets to stay inside when he paints. Oh, okay. This has to be outside because of the, uh, uh, the exhaust, emissions. Right. Yes. I'm sure that noise from this machine scares away the polar bears though so it's fine that's a possibility yes. either that or the polar bears are just friends with everyone at the <laughs> north pole but all right so let's put it all back together really quick and then we'll take one last shot and we'll see you in a bit okay so here's everybody in the off season they're just the elves are chilling with the reindeer this guy's riding the reindeer because they don't have horses at the north pole they just have the reindeer. You couldn't fly a horse to the North Pole. <laughs> so he's going for a little reindeer ride. They're feeding the reindeer reindeer safe cookies. Do not just give a reindeer any old cookies. Or maybe the cookies are that bad. They're trying to get... <laughs> so the cookies have been passed out to everyone, and I think this guy's trying to get rid of that cookie and see if the reindeer will take it. And I don't think he's buying. And then we have uh, the buddy elf guy, the happy dude over here, hey. hanging out. Giving a cookie to Rudolph. Yeah, because Rudolph needs it. And you can see now the uh, all these guys, now that they're out of their harnesses, which you can see over here, um, there's this little, it's just a little two, two, yeah. two by one thickness block. This is what they look like 
if you don't add that block. It but it's kind of silly. easier to ride. <laughs> <laughs> and so, as the long day closes, one last look at the house and workshop. And if we spin that around nice and slowly, because Santa does not stay in his seat. So Santa's up top here. He's taking off his hat. He's reading one of the letters from the good boys and girls. He's laughing. So his hands are up. <laughs> Downstairs, we've got Mrs. Claus tending to the fire. And then we've got the coolest elf jamming on this Fender guitar he just made. Yeah. On his off time. And he also apparently didn't care for the cookies. He's just kind of leaving it there on the workbench. Maybe it's so good he's saving it for Oh, maybe. He's cherishing it. Cherishing, cherishing. Cherishing, cherishing. We are not saying that Mrs. Claus is a bad <laughs> cook. Please do not send us hate mail. <laughs> I'm sure she's a wonderful cook. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I think it's a great set overall. It's a lot of fun. It'll be, I'm hoping we'll be able to set it up, maybe get like some white tablecloth or something to kind of make like a little diorama for it. And, and it's great. so much cooler to display than those little houses, the little ceramic ones that don't do anything. Right. Look at all this house does. Yeah. So much. Much less breakable. It may break, but you can put it back together. And we have a really old train downstairs that we might be able to turn into the Polar Express if we really, really got creative <laughs> with it. But that's what Lego is all about, getting creative. That's right. All right, we will see you next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for watching Miss Frodo's Toy Horde. Bye!